So a quick forward, uh, the grows in this video turned out to be a bit of a train wreck. Um, like, what is this thing? Uh, not because of the light. The light actually outperformed my expectations. Uh, but pH and EC issues that I had throughout the whole growing experience um, resulted in this. Anyway, I'm gonna try and cover this up with timestamps so you can skip ahead uh, to whatever part of the video you're interested. Otherwise, enjoy. <laughs> Welcome back to Huchos. So today on Huchos, I'm gonna unbox this. This is the Viper Spectra P2500, 2500, P2500. Let's unbox it. Ooh, that didn't work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so in the box, uh, hangers, cord, wires for hanging, instruction manual, light. Now, <laughs> as far as I can tell, this light is what happens when you get a bunch of marketing people into a room together and go, let's make a really attractive light. <laughs> really excited. Uh, these are, this is probably one of the most attractive lights that I've seen on the market. Like, look at that thing. Now, there are some caveats to um, the focus on design of this light, which we'll get into later. But look at that. Like, that is a well thought out, well designed light, at least aesthetically. Uh, thank you to Viper Spectra for sending me this light so that I could do some grow videos for them. Let's grow some plants. So it grows plants and it grows them well 
if you know how to manage hydroponic systems better than I do. So let's discuss the light itself. This light is actually one of uh, the best built lights uh, that I've ever seen. Um, it's, it's just a solid unit. On the back, the LEDs are powered by a Sosun LED driver. Uh, on the front, you've got a protective film covering the SMD LED diodes. And the diodes are a mixture of 3000K, 6500K, 660 nanometer deep red, and 730 nanometer infrared. On the side of the device, you've got a toggle to dim the light, uh, and it's integrated into the light's design itself. Uh, this is one of the smoothest action to toggles that I've ever used. Uh, it's, a, it's really nice. Now, one thing I didn't like about the stuff that came with the light, it gives you premium hangers, but these hangers, they're really long. And if you've ever tried to hang a light in a confined space, and I guarantee these lights are gonna be hung in confined spaces, you want these hangers to be as short as possible. Uh, so I, the way that I've gotten around this is I've just looped them over it doesn't give you as fine control as like two individual hangers, but uh, it works for the purposes of shortening the hanger. On the back of the light, this is actually um, my favorite part of all. Uh, you've got a really large heat sink. So that mixture of diodes that we talked about earlier makes this light a full spectrum grow light which is really good for uh, just visually maintaining your plants, if that's something that you do. <laughs> so the one thing that I can't tell you in this review is what LED diodes uh, this light uses. I can't find any information anywhere. Um, I've watched other people review the lights and they speculate on, you know, Epistar diodes or a range of other uh, pretty high-end diodes, but uh, there's, n there's no information that I can find. So I'm not going to speculate on the diodes that they use. So to test its e efficacy, uh, we'll just test the efficacy. Let's do a par test. So this is kind of what I mean by, you know, <laughs> you, you can have at least that much space between the top of the tent or whatever you're using. Um, and like, that's, that's huge. <laughs> ahead and created PPFD maps for both the 12 and the 18 inch hanging heights, uh, raised an inch to take into account the height of the pass sensor. And this is the results. Now, if we go ahead and times them by 1.2 and divide them by the watt draw, we end up with an efficacy of 1.2. 95 micromoles per joule for the 12 inch height and 1.5 micromoles per joule for the 18 inch height. There you go. That's the par test and review for the Viper Spectra P2000, not 2500. I was sent the wrong light, but that's fine. Uh, it's a really solid, in fact, probably one of the most solid lights. Um, in build quality uh, that I've seen. And without knowing the LEDs that they're using, uh, I can't really comment on uh, the efficacy of the LEDs, but um, they're going in the right direction. I'd really like to see a version of this 
with uh, Meanwhile Drivers and uh, Samsung Horticultural LEDs, that would just make it, you know, the pinnacle of LED lighting. Um, but solid light anyway. Hope you enjoyed the review. Happy hydroponicking.